my god. Look at this. Oh god, okay, I've, <laughs> I've messed this one up. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm not gonna lie, I've had this face mask on for about an hour and it's actually starting to like dry and get stuck to my face. I'm gonna take it off, oh my god, it's hard. Ah, it's actually stuck to my face. Oops. <laughs> oh no. It's like glued to my chin. I put it on and then I got distracted sorting out makeup and now it's actually stuck. <laughs> it's picked up some of my eyebrow tint. Let's just massage the rest of that in. Okay, most of it's dry already. <laughs> oh, I got it in my hair. Anyway, hi, how are we doing? Um, I should probably go fix this. I'm also gonna change out of this top because this is my pajama top that I slept in. One sec. If anyone uses the Batiste dry shampoo, they've just come out with this new one, which is a love is love edition. This smells so good. I hope they keep this permanent. And she's finally ready. So in today's video, all I felt like doing is just sitting down, playing with some makeup. Quite a lot of this stuff is new, some of it is old and like I'm rediscovering it. But I mostly just wanted to play around with some makeup and bright colours. I've been watching all of Emma's videos. I know that Emma is one of my closest friends, but her channel at the moment is keeping me sane. And she's been playing with loads of makeup, um, different like eyeshadow looks, bright colours and stuff, and it kind of inspired me to do the same. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a bright look and I'm going to be doing a full face, a full glam, and I hope you enjoy. As always, any video suggestions would be greatly appreciated in the comments because I'm not gonna lie uh, I'm kind of running out of ideas and if you do like this video as always give it a big thumbs up that really helps me and also subscribe if you want to subscribe if not that's cool let's get into the video I managed to get lash tint all over my hands and it's kind of reacted with my tan and gone a bit orange what I actually want to start with to see if it makes a difference the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper because maybe this will you know, stop people having to plump their lips with lash curlers. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch my previous video. It's starting to slightly tingle. For my primer, right, I have seen this all over TikTok and I just found it when I was sorting out some stuff. This is the Revolution Pro Blur Stick Universal Face Primer. First of all, Revolution, did we really need to have the packaging that is this big? Like really, could you not have made it half the size? Well, at least you get a lot of product. So I have seen people using this primer and they literally just wipe it onto their face. So that's what I'm gonna do, but it's supposed to be really good for oily skin. So finally using a primer that's actually supposed to be for my skinotype. Skinotype? Skin type. Oh wow, okay, that completely mattified my forehead. I have used this before, but to be honest, I don't generally tend to like these types of primers. Wow, my lips are really burning now. My lips are actually on fire. Yeah, see the thing is, I don't really like the feeling of this primer because it feels kind of waxy and weird but i cannot deny it has definitely really mattified my skin oh i've just realized my face is gonna be so matte today because are we ready folks i'm gonna be using the maybelline superstay foundation this used to be my favorite foundation of all time then i started fake tanning and then i couldn't find the right shade for me so i just stopped using it oh my god my lips are burning oh they've gone really red i think it's working I think it's working. I think my lips are getting more plump. This is the most tingly, burning lip plumper I've ever used. So I have got the two shades in ivory and soft beige, because it does oxidize ivory. So this one is soft beige. Okay, yeah, that one is a lot more pink. Let's go with ivory. If it's too dark, I can brighten it up with some concealer. And the sponge that I'm using is actually brand new. I haven't used this before. This is from Unicorn Cosmetics. You know what, I actually think that colour match is pretty good. Have I really been missing out on this foundation for this whole time because I didn't think this was my colour? That has really dried down. For my concealer, I'm using the Nip and Fab Concealer. Um, oh, okay, I thought it was called the Anti-Crease Concealer, but it says something in a different language. I have used this concealer before and I did used to really like it and I found it in a big box of makeup, which was makeup that I was to like sort out and put back into storage and never got around to doing that. Or I think I'm gonna go for number four. I really love the applicator for this because it's so flexible and it just spreads the concealer out really nicely. 
it really bothers me when the applicator isn't nice and is either too hard or it's just really small whereas this just like paints it on. Robert Welsh, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, I've put on too much concealer, I realise my mistakes, <laughs> I've just gone straight back to my old habits. I'm just gonna go in with a tiny little bit of number three, just in the very corners here. I would say it's more of a medium coverage concealer, but it just blends beautifully into your skin. And also it doesn't feel too heavy as well. Like it's not super thick, so it feels really nice under your eyes, which I quite like. For my powder, I'm using the Revolution Bake and Blot Powder in Lace. Had this for ages and again, was in that big box of stuff that I'd completely forgotten about. Ooh, that's actually quite light. It's got a little bit of color in it. Uh oh. That was a close one because I've got a cream product for bronzer. I'm using this, it's actually a foundation from Diego Dalla Palma. It's the Sun Compact Cream. It's their foundation, which has got SPF 30 in it. Um, but I've got the shade five, which they did very kindly send over. However, this for a foundation for me, uh, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna use this as my cream contour. Oh God, I have a feeling this isn't gonna work because the foundation has kind of set. And this is a really glowy foundation, so maybe this was not the best idea. Um, well now I've just got an orange nose. Oh, this isn't actually as dark as I thought it was. It's weirdly liquidy. I thought it was going to be more matte, but it's actually really liquidy. And as soon as I'm putting my brush in it, it's kind of melting. Which I mean is nice, because then I'm assuming it will blend nicely. Or not, because my foundation is way too matte for this. Uh, well that was a fail. Or was it? You know what, the finish of that foundation is beautiful. I think if you actually had this in your colour it would be so nice. I don't really like compact foundations, but this just melts. I'm impressed. By the way, did my lips get bigger? I don't really know if they got bigger, I feel like they just got more red. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Collection Sheer Loose Powder in... 2 Translucent. Little, um, tip. This is not translucent, because when I used to try this on my face it was just very orange. Oh no. I'm just gonna top up on a bit of bronzer with my Urban Decay uh, Beached Bronzer in Bronze. And for my blush, I've got two here from KVD Vegan Beauty. It was formerly Kat Von D, but she is now completely separated from the brand. I don't know if you guys have seen all of that, but yeah, it's now just KVD Vegan Beauty and she no longer gets any of the profits or anything like that. But these are the blushes. I've got the shades Honeysuckle and Foxglove. I don't know which one to go for. This one is Honeysuckle. And Foxglove looks like this, so... I'm gonna try this one first, I think. <gasps> oh, that is a beautiful blush colour. I thought it was gonna be a bit too light and maybe not show up, but wow, okay, it's really pigmented. It is fully matte and I do tend to go for a blush that's got a little bit of glow in it, but that colour is so cute. Then for my highlighter, I've got this old um, gem from Revolution Pro. You can probably tell I was sorting out my Revolution stuff today, can't you? This is the 4K highlighter palette in gold and oh my god, look at this. <laughs> so I'm taking this shade here, which is the lighter gold champagne -y one. These highlighters are so intense. They're a little bit glittery, but honestly, I don't care. They kind of do have quite a lot of like kickback and glitter, but I honestly don't care because it's stunning. If you don't mind a little bit of glitter in your highlighter, the texture kind of reminds me of the Jeffree Star, um, oh, what are they called? You know the highlighters, like the one that I really like, the Supreme Frosts, I think they're called. I haven't got much else to say other than it's just stunning. To be honest, my brows don't need much doing to them at all because they are freshly tinted. I'm just gonna run through them with a little bit of Benefit's Clear Brow Gel. And then I'm just filling in a couple of gaps, but not really, there's not really too many. And then I'm just gonna extend the tail a little bit. And that is me done. Well, I mean, not completely. I mean, that's my eyebrows done. <laughs> then moving on to eyeshadow, I had the urge to do something blue. That's why I also put on my blue jumper. I've seen loads of people recently, loads of my friends doing blue eyeshadow looks. I've seen Emma do a blue look. I've seen Rachel Leary do a blue look. I've seen Jordan Lipscomb do a blue look. And I kind of just really wanted to do a blue look. <laughs> so that is what I'm gonna do. And I'm testing Raddy's Daydream palette with Makeup Obsession. I've used her, the more like neutral palette. Can't remember what it's called. Um, but this one I have not used yet and I thought it would be the perfect time to crack into it and see 
what it's saying. I kind of just want it to be pretty simple because everyone that I've seen doing these blue looks, they're all just matte and it just looks really cool. So I'm going to take the shade Maxim, which is this one here. And I'm literally just taking this over a fluffy brush, over a fluffy brush, on a fluffy brush and just all over my eyelid. Well, this one is definitely not clean, but uh, if I wipe it on my pajama bombs, maybe that'll do the trick. Better than nothing. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering how my lash lift is holding up, my eyelashes are actually still really curly. I did tint them earlier on today, but they're still all sticking up more than they used to. And also, apparently, if you keep, uh, you know, perming your eyelashes, it does damage them in the long run. So I don't know if I'll do it again anytime soon, but for now, they still look pretty nice. So I'm just winging out that blue. I'm just going back in with my blending brush, and I'm just going to blend out the edges. Oh, I, part of me just kind of wants to leave it as this one shade. I'm just gonna pack a bit more of that shade onto my eyelid. But wow, that color is beautiful. I guess I could try going in with a bit of this shade, which is called Nymph, which is just next to it. I'm using the other side of my brush. This one is slightly more green. And I'm gonna add a bit of this over the top. Wow, these are so pigmented. Then I'm taking the same two shades onto my lower lash line. Let's take a little bit of the shade, which is called Rain Dance. It's just a bright silver. And I'm gonna put some of this on my inner corners. Wow, that is so pigmented. For my liner, I've got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner. I didn't realize they had an eyeliner, but apparently they do. And it looks really similar to the Kat Von D, or sorry, KVD Beauty type of brush with the bristles, which I love. Hey, I'm gonna start using that eyeliner again. Whoa, this is really liquidy. Wow, that's super black. I want to try and do quite a thick, bold wing. That'll do nicely. Wow, this eyeliner is really good. It is just gliding on there with no problems whatsoever. Oh God, okay, I've, me <laughs> I've messed this one up. It can smell fear. I've done this one at the wrong angle and now my wing liner is going this way and my eyeliner is going... Okay, wait, let's go back in with a bit of this. Moving on. For my mascara, I got the most ridiculous PR box. I'm so grateful that I received this. But this box for a mascara. Really? How do I dispose of this? Anyway, I've got the new mascara, which is the Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. I wonder what I'm going to think of this, because I've seen extremely mixed reviews. Um, It's quite a dry formula. It's doing something, but am I amazed by what it's doing? So this is the mascara. I mean, it's all right, but it is a little bit clumpy and it's not super consistent. Like some of my lashes look really long and then other lashes just look quite short. And I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest. Ah, my nail is stuck in my hair. Then I'm actually gonna put some fake eyelashes on today because I recently got these in a PR package from Kiss Lashes and they look really pretty. They're the Faux Mink collection and these ones are in Muse. So I'm gonna go away and put these on off camera because uh, I will probably spend about 15 minutes putting my lashes on. Lashes are on and I actually love them. It was a little bit tricky to get them on because I was trying to do that hack where you put the lash glue on your like skin first and then you just drop the eyelashes onto it. However, I think I was using the wrong brush because I then got glue all over my eyelashes and they were all getting stuck together and it was just, it was an ordeal, but they're now on and I really, really like them actually. Do I even have a different lip liner in here? Oh, oh God, I didn't mean to do that. So for my lips, I have got a new lip, what's this called? Lipstick, liquid lipstick. I don't have a new lip liner to test, so I'm just gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner, because I think this will match quite well with this color. Well, if my lips were plumped, they've definitely gone down now. However, I have been filming for nearly two hours, so that's probably why. They feel really moisturized though. I find it really funny how I never used to use lip liner, and now I swear I can't live without it. So to finish things off, this is the Kat Von D KVD Beauty Vinyl Lip Cream in Blossom. I did see Emma mention this. I think it was in a favorites video. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Oh, Gorgeous applicator and gorgeous formula. That feels so nice. This isn't the type of lipstick, like liquid lipstick that dries down. It just stays creamy and shiny, but that color is Gorgeous. Oh, that feels so nice. Yep, I'm a big fan of that, and I'm a big fan of this look actually. I really like it. I think it just came together so nicely. I just, I think, I just, I, I don't know what to say. I really like it. So this is the finished look. I know that it is a hell of a lot of makeup, 
but I just wanted to do a makeup look that was going to make me feel better and I kind of really love it. So I'm now going to answer a question of the day. If you guys have got any questions for me, they can be about whatever. Leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day and I might give you a shout out in my next video. Today's question comes from Archie P and they have said, Hi Soph, hope you're well. Typically my sleeping pattern isn't good, but during this lockdown it's far worse. You said you were working on fixing your sleeping routine. Did you manage to fix it? Did you manage and how did you do it? Love your videos, by the way. Thank you. Uh, so, oh my camera's about, my memory card's about to die. And I'm back. Um, so no, not really. I haven't managed to fix it yet. If you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you've probably seen that I've been going to sleep at like three or four in the morning since this whole lockdown thing happened. And now, like the first couple of nights, I just wasn't able to sleep. And then I think my body just got used to that like sleeping pattern of me falling asleep at three or four and then waking up super late. I've been waking up at like 11. <laughs> the past few days, what I've been trying to do is set my alarm half an hour earlier. So over the weekend, set my alarm for half 10. And then today, set my alarm for 10 just so that makes me a little bit more tired because when my alarm goes off, I then try and force myself to actually not snooze it and get up. Um, I think the main way to fix your sleeping pattern, not that I've managed to achieve it yet, is to set your alarm much earlier one day and then force yourself to get out of bed. Then you will be a lot more tired and will be able to fall asleep earlier and then just keep adjusting it like that. Um, but good luck. I know it's really tricky. I don't think many people have been sleeping that great recently, so yeah. Uh, I hope you're okay, and I hope you managed to fix it, and I hope I managed to fix it too. Right, so I am going to go now. I'm going to go edit this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. I would also love to have you as a subscriber if you're not already, and make sure you turn on my notifications, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!